What caused the U.S. housing crisis of 2007? Antoinette Shoah finds that middle-class home buyers had more to do with the crash than less wealthy consumers, who are usually blamed for it. This idea that this was a subprime crisis is a complete misnomer. In fact, this was a middle-class crisis. The biggest increase in dollars lent was not to subprime. It was actually to the middle and upper middle class. The middle class and upper middle class, pre-2008 in the U.S., had literally a zero default rate. And then in the financial crisis, they went up to between 6 and 10 percent. The banks were unprepared for that default because the mantra had always been middle class people, upper middle class people don't default on their mortgages. And so what we show is that defaults and distress in among middle class and upper middle class loans really had the biggest impact on the system. Because that increase in borrowing, but also in defaults, was so widespread, um, the interpretation of the financial crisis really um, points towards that this was a typical asset bubble, meaning, you know, expectations went haywire. Though the Dodd-Frank Act and other regulations the Federal Reserve implemented post-2008 were useful, Shoah says that housing is the one market where regulation can be improved. Understanding that large distortions in the supply of credit to low-income borrowers weren't primarily responsible for the crash could help introducing better policies. Post-2008, a lot of regulation has made it much tougher for poor people to get loans. In the time period between, say, 2008 and 2012, when prices were actually very low, poorer people were not able to buy houses um, because they didn't have enough access to the financial market. We actually kept poorer people out of that market. And I think this is actually a big policy mistake. You don't want a situation where financial policy is exactly counter-cyclical in a way to make it hardest for the poorest people to buy houses when the prices are the lowest. Regulation has done a, a very good job in stabilizing the banks and making the financial system more stable. But in the end, Right? It hasn't made the housing market more sane. In a nutshell, I feel actually the U.S. is subsidizing its housing market too much. We're using a lot of taxpayer money to subsidize the housing market. And ultimately, this benefits richer people much more than poorer people because richer people buy more housing. Of course, that's a political decision and ultimately maybe a consensus in society. Um, but I think the US would be better off subsidizing its healthcare system more <laughs> than subsidizing housing. 